My role as a parent is not to parent this child, but to help the child see that, that God is the parent of my child, of the child. And I'm just really the older brother of the child. So the way I see myself with Tristan or Caleb, my two sons at the moment, is I just view myself as their, as their older brother. In the, and only older from the sense that I've been around a bit longer. That's all. And with regard to my daughter from the first century, it's the same feeling I have, like, that I'm just her, their, her older brother. I'm not her father. Her father is God. Now, bearing that in mind, that means that I am really going to be a surrogate or a proxy for God. In other words, the way the child's going to see me is very much going to be imposed upon the way the child sees God at some point. Does that make sense to everyone? So obviously, that tells me a lot about what I need to do in my relationships with my children once I do that. So the endeavour is to treat our children as God would, to allow them to experience life in the way that God would have us experience life. And our responsibility is actually just to teach them about that, to, to um, enlighten them to the, to the processes of the universe. Yeah. So that comes down to what do we teach them? Well, the first thing to teach them is the principles of love and truth. Particularly truth, because truth always, remember, sets you free. So, so if you can teach the principles of truth to the child, then the child will be set free too. Now, the way we do this is not intellectually, again, it's emotionally. So it's about being truthful emotionally, even with yourself. So when you lie to yourself about your own emotions, what are you teaching your child? You're teaching the child to lie to themselves about their own emotions. Quite simple. So when you are not exactly as you feel, when you are displaying something outwardly that is not what you're feeling inside of yourself, you are actually teaching the child the opposite of what it needs to learn. Does that make sense? Very important. Love and truth are two qualities we need to teach our children because they're two qualities. Remember, every single discussion we've had, I've always drawn, generally when I've referred to God, if there's love on one side and truth on the other. And that's how we need to be with our children, exactly the same way as that, having developing those qualities within ourselves.